your stay for the show. Gary, would you show Mr Lazenby to his seat? George Lazenby is an Australian actor who at the age of 29 starred in the James Bond film on Her Majesty's Secret Service, becoming the youngest person ever to play Ian Fleming's iconic spy. Now, 50 years after succeeding Sean Connery for his one and only Bond film, George is returning to his espionage roots. He's starring in Passport to Oblivion, an audio spy adventure that features an all-star cast, including Glynis Barber, Michael Brandon and Terence Stamp. So, we give you a round of applause and you probably don't remember George but you've been here before how are you you know when I think about it I'm pretty good you look great by the way <laughs> what are you 80 81 something like that 80 yeah you don't look fantastic. give me 81 well no, sorry no I meant 79 <laughs> <laughs> there you go <laughs> so now when you look back at your career you probably don't want to talk about on Her Majesty's Secret Service or the James Bond thing at all. Right before you were doing the modelling and you were doing the Big Fry advert on television, that kind of brought you to their attention. Would that be true? It's absolutely not. I walked up the stairs with Peter Hunt and Harry and Cubby were at the top of the stairs and they said, get him out of here, he's a clothes pig. <laughs> Meaning you're a model yeah. like a... <laughs> and then Peter Hunt said, I want to test him. He said, you're not testing a clothes peg. For James Bond, a clothes peg? Anyway, uh, Peter said, I'll test him at your place. Next thing I know, I go out to Peter's place and we start testing. It went on for four months. Yeah, Just the testing out? Yeah. Oh Michael Caine was out there on the weekends teaching me how to be famous. And what was the experience like? I mean, were you trepidatious? Were you nervous? You looked like him. Well, like bon wait a minute. Go they on. give you all these lines every morning. Heaven forbid. You oh, got yeah. Lines. yeah, but you were James Bond. What's to moan about? Come on. No, no I am not moaning. <laughs> That's not you haven't heard anything yet. <laughs> It was quite fun. So you came from Australia to the UK to work, or you were born in Australia, you were born here, went to Australia, what was the deal? The deal was I fell in love with a girl who was above my class, <laughs> and the dad wanted her away from me. So he sent her to England to work for Lord Snowden. Oh, really? And he was a very good friend for the Prime Minister. I remember on the first date that I got in there, I walked in and I said, mate, you look like Bob Menzies. And it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And as I was walking out with Belinda, I went to her again. I said, no, you really do. <laughs> you reckon I didn't make a lot of points on my first yeah, yeah. journey? <laughs> well, after you'd done the James Bond movie, what happened to you in the interim period? We kind of didn't hear about you for about, I don't know, 10 or 15 years after that. <laughs> but then you would pop up in stuff. Well, I was was blacklisted. Were you really? Absolutely. For what reason? For the fact I wouldn't sign the contract. Okay. To do more Bond. To do more Bond. Right. Did you always want to return to doing acting? Because you did, didn't you? Eventually come back and do all kinds of things. Man from Uncle, you did Super Bowl. No, I went to see Bruce Lee because uh, none of the Western world would talk to me. I'd known him 20 minutes and he gave me 10 grand to do a movie with him. Wow. Raymond Chow. He said, Raymond, give George 10,000. He said, we're going to do a movie together. <laughs> and three days later, he died on me. And yeah. so Raymond then sent a guy over to train me. And I went back and did three Kung Fu movies. I can see the uh, PR people out there saying, when's he going to talk about Passport to Oblivion? So let me just tell you, set in England, 1964, based on the best-selling book by James Leesaw, Passport to Oblivion poses key questions. Who was K? And why was he killed? Who is the mysterious girl in Rome? And why are the Russians basing their covert operations in Iran? And why is the deputy head of MI6 sifting through filing cabinets for the name of a man he knew? You in Burma 20 years ago. Who's he? You have to come now. Who is that man? Run! He's shooting at us. That's his job. He's a Russian agent. He's a Russian agent? I thought you were a Russian agent. It's a dangerous life, Dr. Love. I live mine to the full. It sounds intriguing, George. It is. It was fun doing it. I mean, I've never done anything like this before. Mm. I like to be tested. Because this is an audio thing, so how does that work? Where do you go? What do you do? When you sit there and you talk in front of a microphone off a script that they pass you and you hope it's not too blue. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and this wasn't too blue, was it? No, it wasn't, no. 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 Well, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> so what about movies and television? Are you planning any more soon or not? I never planned anything. Right. It all happens. I don't have an agent in the uh, USA. 
I purposely stay that way, otherwise they send you out on interviews. Yes, like this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but this has been OK, George, hasn't it, really? Well, so far. Yeah, yeah well, it's coming to an end now, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Passport to Oblivion, starring George Lazenby, is released on audiobook this Friday, November 29th. Check so, it out, it's worthwhile. OK, and we'll see you next time. George Lazenby, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.